Hey guys, Groovy Guitar Dude here with a beginner guitar tutorial for Dial Drunk using this Faith Blood Moon Neptune. Here's a few quick things you want to know before we dive into Dial Drunk. First, we're going to have a capo on first fret. The structure of the song is going to be verse, chorus, verse, chorus, then we'll have a little bridge, and we'll finish up the song with one last chorus. And the four chords that you need to know to play this song are C over G, G, E minor, and D. And I'll have short chord tutorials for all those linked in the pinned comment below for those of you who need them. And with all that in mind, let's dive into Dial Drunk. First thing we're gonna take a look at is what we're playing for our verses. For our verses, our chord progression is gonna be C over G, G, E minor, and then E minor one more time. So E minor for two measures. What we're gonna be doing for strum pattern for each one of those chords will look about like this. We'll use our C over G as an example. For each chord, we're gonna play down, down, up, down, up, two times pretty quickly for each chord. Full speed, it'll look about like this. We'll go down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, and then switch chord. So going through our progression, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, E minor, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, and we'll stay on that E minor one more round, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. And that progression with that strum pattern right there will repeat through all of our verses. Nothing too crazy here, guys, but a couple times through that chord progression and strum pattern for the verses on Dial Drunk will look about like this without me talking. And the only other thing you need to know to play Dial Drunk on guitar is what we're playing for our choruses. For our choruses, we're gonna have a really similar chord progression and actually the same strum pattern. Our chord progression is gonna be C over G, G, D, and E minor. And we'll be using that same exact strum pattern that we just used. So down, down, up, down, up, 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 down, down, up, down, up just about like that, repeated through all of our choruses. The only exception to this that I wanted to add is what we're playing for our bridge, which will be the same chord progression, C over G, G, D, E minor, but for the bridge, it drops down to single down strums. Just single down strums a few times through that, and then it goes into that last chorus. With all that in mind, guys, a couple times through that chorus, chord progression, and strum pattern for Dial Drunk will look about like this without me talking. And that's all you need to know to play Dial Drunk on guitar. If this video helped you out, hit that like and subscribe button. And if you get stuck or need a little extra help, you can hit me up in the comments down below. I'm usually pretty quick getting back to those. Thanks so much for watching my video. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see y'all soon.